Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Here I've got a MoGraph setup that is creating a city for me and if I unfold the cloner you can see that I have many objects in here and all of them are buildings. Let me deactivate the cloner and let's have a look at all of these buildings. So as you can see I arranged them in the way that I have the smallest one on the left and the biggest one on the right. And this is reflected in the list of children here beneath the cloner. So the first one is the smallest and as I go down the list you can see the buildings are getting bigger and bigger. And this is important because what we want to do here is we want to use an effector to tell MoGraph where or at which weight to use which of these objects. So let's do this. I'm going to reactivate the cloner. And the first thing I do is in the cloner, I go to the clones parameter and you can see that it's set to iterate. And this is creating this default distribution here. But we can also set this to be random. But what we need is we need to set it to sort. And this will show us the smallest building only. So it's starting here. It's sorting the whole list so that only the first clone will be shown. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to create an effector. I'm gonna use a plane effector, so let's create one. And in here, I'm going to deactivate position and instead I'm going to bring up the modify clone parameter to 100%. And now you can see that all of these clones have been adjusted. They are now showing the biggest building. So let me go to the effector tab and play with the strength. As we play with the strength, we can go through this whole list. We're going from the smallest to the biggest one. And this means that we can now control this setup using fields. So let me go to the fields tab and let's create a spherical field. And let's make it way bigger. And even bigger than that. Let's do it like this. And now you can see that we can move this field around and wherever this field is it will show us the big buildings. Well, let me adjust the fall off to make the fall off area bigger and now we can also make the whole field bigger or smaller depending on what we need. Just keep in mind that a weight of 0% will always give you the first child in the cloner and a weight of 100% will give you the last child. Now if we want to add a little bit more variation here we can also add a random field and maybe set the blending mode to something like overlay and reduce the opacity. And now you can see that we can randomize this thing. And if we move around the spherical field or adjust its size, you can see that it's still working. There are so many things that you can do with Modify Clone. For example, I have a scene here with some popcorn and as the animation is playing back, you can see that all of these corns are popping and this animation has been created using the very same technique. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!